Oh, I'm back out on the fields. It's freezing cold. The ground is a bit frozen this field. I might have to change fields. I don't know. But at the moment, I've got a lovely signal over here. It was pretty deep. Yeah, it was about 10 or 11 inches down. The ground's frozen. First few inches are frozen solid. Um, but I've got a signal here. Sounds coinish. Could be my first coin in God knows how long. See an edge. Got a coin at last. Hello, George. George the third. Can just about see three eyes up there. George the third. Uh, this side's worse. On to the next. Oh, sounds like a tubus moose. It's a bit of dark saw there. Ah. Ah. Is it going to be a pesky button? A pesky button, I think it is. It is, it's a pesky button. Ugh. Anything on this pesky button? Ugh. Nope. Ugh. Oh, it looks like I've got a murder weapon. A murder weapon. Either that or it's a bread knife. Oh, it's a bone handled. Or baker like handled butter knife. Butter? That's how you say it around here. Butter. It's a butter knife. Snapped. On to the next. Oh, I think I got something down here. Oh, this ground's hard to knee long. Never mind the wet knees. I don't like going in the ground too deep. Just sort of sticks in about half inch. Right there. Could be something epic. Did I see something then? Oh, I did. I did. I saw an edge. I think it's a coin. Yeah, I think that's a coin. Two coins on the trot. Well, not on the trot, two coins today. <laughs> Hello, George. George the second. Two eyes up there under some crud. George the second. 1700s. And this side's much worse. On to the next. Look at this. And it's going to be minus seven tonight. Now, I have been in fields where the grass is a bit longer and that helps insulate it a bit, but it's still rock hard. But I suppose the good thing is about it being frozen a little bit, it's almost perfect plugs because it's grass frozen. So the first couple of inches, it's rock hard. Ah, it's around this side. Right there, oh, put this be spade over there. Oh, it's not like kneeling it. Oh, God, it's hard. It's like kneeling on concrete. Oh. <coughs> oh. oh it's all a bit of dark soil then, I think. A bit of dark soil. Did I move it? Did I move it? Oh, did I see something then? I did. Is it a thimble? It's a thimble. It's a crusty thimble. Just a thimble, nothing special. Well, this was a banging signal. I've just seen it drop out. I thought it was going to be cack. But I think I can see a girt big coin down here. Oh, huh. good day to you, Mum. I think. Uh, oh no! Hello, George. Oh, lovely patina. Lovely. Uh, 
1933 be handy. Ah, 1922, close. 29. Oh yeah, lovely coin. Bit of a scratch across his face. But other than that, it's a lovely tactile coin. Oh, I got a coin in here. Ah, is she blues? Uh, uh, mm, looking a bit toasty. Uh, oh, who's that? Who is that? Uh, I might get this one cleaned up a bit. It could be oldish. It might be a William. It might. I can see. It looks like. A G-I-V-S up there in that top corner and it's pretty toasty but he's got a squiff, a little quiff on the top of his head and I can only see two eyes there. Nope, can't see a third one. This side's much worse. But it might be a William which would be late 1600s. It might. What do you think? On to the next. Ah. <sighs> Hopefully I don't find too many piles of rocks when I get the horde hunter to dig under. Because <laughs> that was a nightmare. Or for a piece of copper. It's given me a lovely signal. Right, I'm going to wash it off. If there's anything on there, I'll get back to you. But if there ain't, then I won't. It's just a thin bit of copper. Ugh. Now a few days later, my lovers, <laughs> the ground froze solid the next day and it was like, oh, and then it was hard again. But today the weather is starting to warm up. Well, it's not warming up much. It's, uh, it's cloudy and there's a bit of a breeze blowing from, from way up north. And uh, ooh, it's a bit shivery like. But I've just found an amazing relic that you'll see later on. Because I forgot to do an intro for the second day. <laughs> I just found that and I had an art attack for five seconds because it looks as if it's got markings on it and when it first came out of the ground it had like a gold colour but it's got, I think it's just a bit of melted aluminium but that's, look at the rim around the outside look I thought that was a Saxon coin my Saxon gold coin was that size but it's, it's not heavy enough Oh, I got a signal down this ear hole. Oh, it could be cack. It was giving me a slight iron grunt. What's that there? That looks like copper. Ooh. What's that? Hey, up. It's not a Roman brooch, is it? What is that? Oh, this could be something epic! It could be something epic. It must be near something that's iron. That's what... Ah. Hold on. Bit of ground mineralisation. No. Nope. Right, I'm going to get that cleaned up. Woohoo! Right, there she blows. Now it looks like it has had a layer on it, maybe silver. I think I can see a pin just there. Uh, it's like chamfered on the edges. And then there's a little bump on the end there. Now, I can't get in there very well. But do you think there's enameling in there? Could it be some sort of a pendant? ancient pendant, pen, pendant from the uh, 13 or 1400s but it does look almost as if there's something in there but it's like that is seriously thick and I don't want to bend it back in case it snaps so if you know what that is post below but it looks medieval-ish 
Oh, I'm about four feet from that relic and I got another deep signal. Bit iffy. I could be onto a horde. Oh, that's deep. Sounded deep. An ancient relic horde. Right there in the middle, good sign. Good, we're a good 10 inches down. Right. Weather's been rubbish lately. Rubbish, it has rubbish. Oh, tossed it out. Oh, I can see it. I thought I had a sudden flash of silver. Oh, be something epic. We want a horde just here. That would make my year. Oh, where'd it go? I thought I saw it there. What have we done with it? Could it sure sort of coin? Right, where's my pinpoint gone? I might need that. That's oh, over there. Right. I thought I saw an edge. Sure I did. Right, I might get there eventually. Ah! What's that? It's not a pesky button, is it? Oh, it is. That, my God, that was about... Nine? That was 12 inches for a pesky button. You bugger. <laughs> Flash of silver. Oh, it's a pesky button. Yeah, just a plain boring silvered. Nothing on it. Pesky button. Ugh. Oh, got a nice little bird tweeting away in the hedge. I reckon I got a coin down here. I think it's a blue tit, if you can just about hear it. No, it's, oh, it's not a coin. I think it's a fragment of a pot leg, medieval cooking pot leg. Just a fragment, methinks. Well, it could be a bit of a Bronze Age ax head, but I don't think so. On to the next. Go oh, look at this. I found a mushroom. It's a Gert Biggin. Look. It's a good big puffball mushroom. You squash it and spores come out. Look. Now you can eat these, not in this condition, but when they first come up, they're like a big white ball of white flesh. As soon as they start to go a bit yellow, you can't eat them anymore. But look, puffball. Oh, it's now the third day. Yeah, so what I'll probably do next time is I won't say day one, day two, day three, four, five, six, seven, I'll just uh, carry on with the video. And uh, if it suddenly goes from sunny to dank and dreary like today, then you'll know why. Right, let's see what relics we can find. Oh, could be a hammered coin. Ooh, right in the middle. Oh, no. It's a tubus muus. Oh, yep. Yeah. Rolled up tubus muus. Well, part of one. Ugh. Oh, I found something. 
Huh, lots of shooting going on all of a sudden. Yeah, I think it's a fragment of a medieval cooking bowl. Yeah, it could be some epic finds around here. Just a fragment. Probably three, four hundred years old. Sounds like a horde! Oh, yeah, my, I've got old in my boot. <laughs> oh, it's a massive tubus moors. Ugh. Do I got something right down here? We're over a foot down. Over a foot. Right. What's that there? It's a bit of pottery. Whoa. Could be a hoard. Nope. No, still down there. Oh, what's up there? Is it a coin? Or a pes oh, it's a pesky button. Look at that. A pesky button at 14 inches. Woohoo! <laughs> ah, yeah, oh, it's very thin. Very thin. Right, I'll get this cleaned up and get back to you. Oh, it's got a little flower. A little flower, look, a little daisy. Here's the petals, there's the flower. Nicked it slightly. Yeah, 14 inches that button. Oh, lovely jubbly. See what else we can find. Bang it! Bang it. Let's give it a little tap. Oh, I can see a coin! I can see a coin! Oh. Oh, is it going to be a spendable? A spend, uh, spendable 10p! Ugh! I found out what this thing is. It would have gone through a scabbard of a sword. That would have gone on the inside, through the leather there, and would have gone on the inside, and down the inside where the blade went into the sheath. And it's clamps like that, because then you would have had leather coming down off of the belt to hold it in place. So it's like a little clampy type thing, like, like the clamp you get on a CTX, you know, for holding the shaft in place. So that dates to about the English Civil War. Imagine that. The soldier must have been galloping through this field on horseback and off it popped. Or he, he could have been, even been in battle in, right in this field. Having a, a could have been a, a, against the parliamentarians, he could have been a roundhead, roundhead in battle. There's not far away from here, there's a field that's absolutely saturated with musket balls and lead shot. Thousands I've dug up. So we could have had an English Civil War battle right here, you know, three, four hundred years ago. Isn't it epic history? So I don't think it's got any enamelling on the inside, unfortunately. But that is a little piece of history right there. Oh, I just found two bizarre relics. First of all, I was digging just in the middle of that clot there. And I came out with that, which is a screw thing for going into a wall for it to grip the, grip the I forget what they're called. And then I thought, ah, I was another signal there, so it couldn't have been that. So I carried on digging, thinking I was about to find a screw. But I didn't. I found a spendable penny instead. <laughs> What's the chances of that, eh? Look, right in the same little hole I was digging in the middle of that clod. Right down in there. Bizarre. Oh, it could be silver. Ah, 
it's driving me nuts again. Ugh. Oh, sounds coinish. Ah, it's my first coin, my first oldish coin. Uh, yes, it's a ship half penny. Right, I'll clean this up and I'll get back to you. Uh, unfortunately, it's unfortunately it's very crusty. I don't think George the Sixth. Very crusty. Just about see the ship, and that's about it. I've got something in here. Could be a hammy. Could be a hammered coin. Where is it too? <laughs> What's that there? Is that it? Oh, it's a fragment of something. Oh, it's a piece of cack, he thinks. Just a tiny piece of cack. Ugh. Mm. Oh, it's a great big piece of lead. Okay. It's a piece of aluminum. Oh, God, I thought he had something epic then. It's been down there a while, it's all mangled. Ugh, look at that. Just a piece of cack. Oh, that's it, me lovers. I'm going to head off. Yeah, it's just starting to get dark. Don't like cycling home in the dark. I've got lights on the bike, but it gets colder at night. <laughs> so, yeah, I've had a good few hours. Uh, I found a few relics. And uh, I'm going to shoot off home now to put the video together. Um, because I've, I've done it over a few days, I've already got most of the video done. It's just going to add a few clips at the end. Cheers!